Jawbreakers, also known as gobstoppers, have preoccupied candy lovers for decades. You pop one in and slowly suck or chew through up to 10 layers of colors and flavors. Sometimes there's bubble gum in the middle for an even longer lasting finish. The larger ones are just for show. Most jawbreakers are about the size of a golf ball. To make their bubblegum centers, a worker blends synthetic rubber with powdered resin, which will dissolve the rubber. He adds a thickener, a preservative, and an oil called soya palm stearine, so the candy won't stick to your teeth. After mixing and steaming at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for four hours, the batter pours into trays to cool. Sugar, coloring, and flavoring would deteriorate in the heat, so workers add those later. There's enough of this base to make gum centers for 450,000 small jawbreakers. After 24 hours, the batter's hard. Workers chop it up and blend it with corn syrup to make it softer and sweeter. They add just under 100 pounds of finished gum that didn't make it into jawbreakers before because it wasn't the right shape. Now they add natural and artificial flavors, which can include lemon, orange, strawberry, grape, even tutti frutti. Then they add icing sugar. It makes the gum smoother to chew than regular sugar would. Workers dump the batch into an extruder that shapes two continuous streams of batter called rope. Another extruder divides each rope into six hollow tubes. The cavity inside will become pockets of air inside the gum centers. The next machine slices the tubes into segments that are three feet, three inches long. A mechanical arm pushes the segments into the channel of a forming machine. Steel rolls then slice through the tubes and shape them into balls. The balls range in diameter depending on the size of the jawbreakers being produced. Air blows through perforations in a cooling tunnel to cool and firm the centers. Then they fall into another forming machine, which restores their round shape. Other jawbreakers have hard candy in the center. The machine that makes them works like the presses drug companies use to make pills. It feeds candy powder into dyes, then applies up to five tons of force to compress the powder into a solid candy. Now for the rest of the jawbreaker. First, they dump the candy centers into what's called a coating pan. They add a hot mixture of water, corn syrup, and food coloring. Then dextrose, a type of powdered sugar. The pan rotates for 20 minutes as warm air dries the ingredients over the centers. The factory repeats this step 10 times for each layer. Talk about a sweet ordeal. Making a jawbreaker takes four days. Workers give this batch special treatment. They speckle these jawbreakers with different colors, giving them what this company calls the psychedelic look. After letting the candies dry for 24 hours, a worker adds pinches of powdered carnauba wax. This gives the jawbreakers a shiny finish. Sliced open, you can see these jawbreakers have 10 layers of flavors and sugar surrounding either hard candy or bubblegum cores. They measure two and a quarter inches in diameter, as big as a billiard ball. And if you're counting calories, forget it. A jawbreaker is 90% sugar. <laughs>